Hey guys, Brickwin here with another one of the new LEGO DC Superhero sets to review for you guys. It is set number 76054, Batman Scarecrow Harvest of Fear. It has 563 pieces and cost about $60, so let's go ahead and check it out. But first, let's build it. So this is the complete set, which looks really cool in my opinion. And first, let's go ahead and start with one of our brand new minifigures. And here is our Blue Beetle minifigure. Um, he is brand new, and for those not familiar with Blue Beetle, uh, he is a hero. He is here to help Batman. Uh, so this is not another villain, although, you know, he kind of maybe looks a little like one. Uh, this is actually a good guy. Uh, but I think it's really cool that they're adding so many new characters like this and Killer Moth. Uh, I just think that's really awesome. It's a really good looking figure. And over on this side we do have a little tractor here. Um, which, I mean, it looks okay. It does have, uh, I think, two, maybe three stickers. I think it's just two stickers on it. Um, nope, three. There's a third one right there. Uh, anyway, so it does have like three stickers on it. It's just a kind of a cool looking little tractor. I mean, it's a nice design, although I think you could have completely taken this out of the set and it would have been perfectly fine. Um, but we also do have a little farmer on there. So here is the farmer that we get in this set. And he just has one face. He is constantly terrified. But you would be too if there was a living scarecrow on your combine harvester, especially one that had fear gas. You'd be super scared. But anyway, um, also, I noticed that he looks a whole lot like Victor from uh, Ninja Turtles that turns into spider bites. Of course, that's because it's the same torso as that. Uh, but that's kind of cool anyway. And of course, one of the highlights of this set is Scarecrow's Combine Harvester over here, which I think looks pretty cool. Uh, when you turn the wheels, you can see how it actually turns the harvester on the front there. It's kind of cool. Um, and that wasn't as bad of a build as I thought it was going to be. It actually was pretty okay. Um, there's also a stud shooter uh, right here, which you can detach. It just kind of slides in right there. Um, and it shoots fear toxin, which is awesome. Yeah, even hit it. Uh, anyway, um, so there are three extras back here in the back, um, and that's all it is. There's no special printing on it or anything, but I mean, it's still kind of cool uh, that we have little fear toxin things to shoot out. Um, and the, the Combine Harvester has several stickers on it, um, which I think could have completely been left off and it would have been fine. But anyway, um, over on this side, we do have a little uh, wire or tube here that connects it uh, to into the harvester which I think is kind of cool looking um, and there's also a little pitchfork attached on this side and this is a brand new scarecrow minifigure so this is our new scarecrow minifigure which is probably not my favorite version of scarecrow but it's still okay um, I was hoping that since he had a hairpiece like this uh, that we would actually get a double-sided face, but we do not. Uh, we have a little bit of 
printing on the back of the head, but definitely not a second face, which I was hoping for. Um, and the hair, if you can't tell, the hair is connected to the hat, but it's kind of okay minifigure. And also in the back of our harvester, when you open this up, it's actually big enough to fit like your farmer inside, which I think is awesome that they made it big enough. And here you can see him inside there. But let me just kind of slide that back. We also have a brand new killer moth. And finally, we have a killer moth figure. We've only been waiting years for this while they've taunted us with this figure uh, in the Lego Batman games. Um, I, for one, think they did a great job when they finally decided to make this figure. Uh, he even has two faces, which I was kind of surprised by. I thought they might just make um, the mask the headpiece, um, but it's a separate mask, so you can take it off. You could even you know, use it for something else if you wanted to, which might be kind of cool. Might make a pretty cool custom. And the final part of this set is this awesome new Batcopter that we have here. And, of course, we have Batman in the front. We'll take a look at him in just a second. On the sides, they actually fold out, and you have some kind of hidden stud shooters there. And in case you lose them, which that one just landed back there, but they do give you four extra studs. Um, so you have the fold-out one on that side, and also the same on this side, which I think is awesome. And then in the back, this is what it looks like back here. Just the one fin in the back, and the, the top. There's nothing too fancy about it. You guys know what a helicopter looks like. It's just a bat version. Um, but anyway, we also have the bat symbol on the front, and Batman! And we have a brand new Batman minifigure in this one. This is the gas mask Batman, which, I mean, he better have a gas mask if he's going to deal with Scarecrow. Um, we definitely don't want to see Batman dealing with the fear toxin. We know how that goes. Uh, I think this is a really cool version of Batman. Rather than just, you know, changing up the printing, there's actually a purpose to having a different Batman uh, for this version here. So there is the entire set let me know what your favorite part of this is in the comments below. And let me know what set or collection you guys want to see next. And I will see you guys later.